Time to play with some clay. Alright, I'm on my way over to the uh, storage unit and to uh, go searching for a uh, set of molds for down the ridge line. I need to get a bid on it. Somebody I think is interested in it. I just want to get uh, a bid as close to what it's going to cost to reproduce it as I can. gotten a bid on it was uh, several years ago in the old foundry and when prices of uh, materials were a whole lot less than they are now so I've just got to update the uh, cost of reproducing that bronze it's a great bronze all right I'll be back when I get over to the uh, storage unit. Well, these are the molds that I've got in my storage. And uh, down the ridge line is only two molds, but i got to dig through all this to find which ones they are. It's quite a few molds. Yeah, i got a big container of them right there. So I'm going to be digging for a little while. Well, it took me a while to find them, but I found them. And... Uh, I put them in this container so I can just carry that into the foundry with the two molds. All right, back home and uh, I'll make this video and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. It's a tight squeeze to get in here, but I'll put the rabbit there and I'm gonna put the cowboy right there. with the rabbit. I'm on my way to Livingston. All right, I'm pulling out and uh, starting my trip. It's a beautiful day today. It's 41 degrees outside. So it's a little cool, but it's not bad. At least it's not snowing. We had a couple inches of snow just a couple of days ago. But as you can see, it's all gone. All right, starting my day. I laid the uh, clays down so it won't be flipping forward. If I happen to slam on my brakes, it'll still move forward, but it won't uh, go flying forward. The reason I'm putting it up here in my seat instead of in the back, because I'm going to be picking up a bunch of molds that the boundary has there that they've already cast from, and uh, I need to put them back into my storage. Go to the sun recording. I debated on whether to video this trip at all I mean how many times have you got to see the same scenes but anyway I know a lot of you like to go on these trips so I decided to go ahead and do that a lot of black Angus out there Just reaching the Madison River. Alright, I'm coming into the uh, Gallatin Valley. That's the Bridger Mountains up there ahead.
big ski resort over there. This uh, used to have millions of buffalo roaming over it. When Lewis and Clark came through this valley in the early 1800s, they saw signs of just massive herds of buffalo, but they didn't see any buffalo because they had migrated in. This is also Blackfoot country, and it was dangerous for anybody who wasn't a Blackfoot to be in this country. All right, this is the last mountain pass that I have to go through before the Great Plains of the United States. The mountains end after this pass. And uh, Livingston's on the other side of it. Probably about 20 miles or 30 miles from here. last of the mountains right there ahead of me and I'm coming into Livingston now it's only about 30 miles further from my old boundary that I used to use for 30 years or more and uh, so it's not that far much farther that I have to drive it's just the uh, pass that I have to go over is a very interesting pass in the winter time Now we're looking south, and through that uh, canyon, through those mountains, which goes quite a ways, uh, is the north entrance of Yellowstone Park. I got a really, really good bit on this clay of the cowboy. I've got it covered with a uh, paper towel to keep the sun from shining on it, and it's cold outside, but that sun can get warm when you're sitting in it for a long period of time, and I don't want the clay to get soft. All right, everybody. I'm heading home, and I'll see you guys next week. I've sure enjoyed this van. I haven't had any troubles with it in well since I really since I bought the darn thing it back in 2010 used to do a lot of traveling up to till about 10 years ago and then I got tired of traveling all right see you guys next week and uh, have a great weekend Now you just got to get out of this parking lot without killing anything. Or killing me. <laughs>if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting good night everybody